Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. A little bit of everything with Erin. Today we'll be doing a quick tutorial. I wanted to show you guys how to use an internal offset to use as a highlight on letters. This is typically used when painting letters, but it also makes a great effect if you're using cardstock or vinyl. A lot of people don't use it, but I don't think they realize they can do it, so I wanted to teach you that today. First thing we're gonna do is type out a word. And we'll just type out my name and I'll make that larger for you to see. And then I'm going to go ahead and do something in cursive because I prefer cursive. And if you use cursive, make sure that you weld it. You can do that by highlighting the word, right clicking and hit weld. If you have extra pieces like the dot in my eye, you want to make sure you right click again and hit group so that they all move as one piece. Now with your word highlighted, you want to go to your offset panel. And instead of clicking offset, you want to hit internal offset. Now you can see the lines went inside the letter instead of outside the letter. But they are too big. I don't want that much. So we need to make that smaller. And in this case, we want to use the up arrow to make the distance less. And you'll just do this until you're happy with it. So for me, the 0 0.280 looks good. I'm going to go ahead and hit apply. So there's this tiny dot here. I will remove that. I do want to add a little bit in the dot here. So I'm just going to do another internal offset. And I'm going to hit apply again. And I'll just delete the bigger pieces. I'm going to keep this part of the R that we didn't get with the last one. Now with the dot, I don't want it directly in the middle, so I'm just going to zoom into that. And I'm going to kind of move it over and then I'm going to double click so that I get the edit points and just change the shape of this a little bit. And I think this one in the end is a little big as well. So trying to keep the same shape that it already is, but just making it a little thinner. And they, this is all personal preference. Okay. So now I'm just going to highlight the internal offset. Now that I'm happy with it all and make it one piece by selecting all right clicking and grouping those together. And for the purpose of this video, we'll make those white and then the name will make black so it's easy to see. And we will shut off the cut lines. And it just gives it a new dimension and a different way of looking at it. We'll go ahead and cut this out so I can show you what it looks like finished. Okay, so now we have our two pieces of vinyl cut out. I'm going to weed them really quickly to show you what they look like. You might have to reverse weed on your internal offset uh, just because internal will be a lot thinner and depending on how small you go, just keep an eye on that. All right. So there's that one. Probably a little hard to see because of the white. I'm just going to use some contact paper. As always, I picked this up at Walmart in the kitchen section. You can also find it at like the 99 cent store in the Dollar General, Dollar Tree, all in the same area. Now 
Then I will line that up just on top of the black here. And then I don't have the object I'm using ready yet, so I'm just going to take the contact paper off so it doesn't get too sticky on there. And there's how you would do that effect. So if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I do try to get back to everyone as quickly as possible. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And if you want, you can share it too. That always helps me out. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. And if you hit the bell, you'll get notifications anytime I post new videos. If you have suggestions for other videos I should be making, leave me a comment down below about that as well. I appreciate your guys' feedback. As always, thanks for watching and happy crafting!